Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome. Welcome to the Robert Dyer Channel Halloween Countdown. Just when you thought it was safe to get back into bed, I've got the brand new Burger King Nightmare King. Horrifying. I was able to find it at the best Burger King in Montgomery County in Damascus on Main Street. Holy smokers, this is the product I've most been looking forward to in this Halloween countdown. Let's take a closer look live from Freddy's Boiler Room. So here's the special wrapper for the Nightmare King. You see it says N for Nightmare. You really have to, I think, unfold the whole thing that in order to see the picture, but you see the sesame seeds, the green bun design. So, always like when they have a special packaging. Now let's try to open this special packaging and carefully. I'm going to lose my burger here for the official, I'd say, unboxing. I guess we're talking about an unbagging here. Holy smokes. It's just like it showed on the advertising. The green bun. Okay, so let's look under this nightmarish green bun. Oh boy, it really is green all the way through. And you got three slices of bacon there. You got mayonnaise, which I like. I see raw onion. Then we have the main event here, which is a crispy chicken filet. And we've got a slice of cheese. And then the quarter pound flame boiled beef patty rounding it out at the bottom there and you can see green bun all the way through this is truly a horrifying first for Halloween let me just get a super close up on that green bun wow I'll just show you that full artwork on there I've got a Suicide Squad vibe to it, I have to say. Well, the aroma... There's no palpable aroma to this special green bun, other than the sesame seeds. The overall aroma is... It's interesting that when I was in the car, it was primarily the fried chicken aroma. When I get the nose right up on it, it's that flame broiled beef aroma you expect from the Whopper. My God. I've got to summon the courage, but let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, that first bite, it was basically like a bacon-wrapped fried chicken, which is pretty damn good. I imagine a good fried chicken wrapped in greasy bacon, and then got a hint of that flame-broiled beef at the same time. Basically, everything that's being grilled up at Camp Crystal Lake in one bite. Let's try again. bacon on here is certainly not a nightmare. It's got, it's a very crispy texture. It's got that, uh, you know, some bacon grease on it. Much better than the bacon I had from that Wendy's burger last night. Now I want to 
due diligence to actually get a separate bite of this uh, green bun just to see if there's any flavoring. No, Bob, no, 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 you fool. Bob, you've fallen victim to Fred Krueger's most diabolical scheme yet. Don't you know that every fool that eats that burger is going to be sucked into the dream world now and fall victim to Freddy Krueger himself? Somebody get Don Dockin on the phone. <clears throat> now they say that this burger has been proven in a laboratory to give you nightmares. So I'm going to have to do an update tomorrow to tell you what happened when I went to bed tonight. But for now, all I can tell you is about the taste of the Nightmare King, which surprisingly is quite good. I'm wondering if perhaps part of the concept here was to maybe force people to try their crispy chicken sandwich. I know I usually get burgers when I go to Burger King because that's what I'm there for, but I'm more tempted now to try their chicken sandwiches after trying this in here. It's very good, tender, juicy, and a great flavoring to this uh, coating. It's a little more like the southern style chicken sandwich at McDonald's in the coating, which R.I.P. they no longer offer at McDonald's. Uh, I like the mayonnaise. I know not everyone does, but I like mayonnaise on my burgers. They probably could have put a little ketchup on here, but I didn't miss it too much. You get the great flame broil burger like usual, and the crispy bacon just as I like it. One thing that I think really stood out in this combination was the fact that you don't usually have raw onion on a chicken sandwich and I found it went very well together here in this. The bun uh, just mostly a sweet standard bakery bun flavor is a little hint of something different in there almost like a note of uh, fruit along with the general sweetness so I don't know if that's just my imagination or the, perhaps the nightmares are already taking hold. Uh, maybe I won't make it to the end of the video. I should have taken a couple of mugs of black coffee, I guess. I would say, when I think about it, what you got here, it's like Freddy Krueger upgraded the McGangbang with premium ingredients for the Freddy Krueger McGangbang. It's a nightmare on Elm Street, a nightmare on your street. The price is pretty substantial, $7.49. That's uh, in the upper range of burgers. I guess you're paying for that premium chicken filet and probably a little bit for the novelty. Uh, Someone who's not playing around as a novelty is the Montgomery County Council greedily taking a whopping 45 cents in tax and pocketing it for themselves. Absolutely criminal, but now that's one nightmare that you can bring an end to starting right now with early voting or on election day this year to vote those real creature features on the Montgomery County Council out of office. But for now, fortify yourself with the Nightmare King. I most of all love the novelty of this, as I've said many times in the past. Now, this is one of those, uh, I guess, experiences, whatever you want to call it. It's a little more than just the burger you're going to eat. I mean, you're going to remember ordering this. Perhaps if you have the nightmares, you're going to remember that. But it's one of those things you'll be telling your friends about, your grandkids. That Nightmare King, the burger that would give you nightmares. And I tried it. I mean, you just, I think you just have to go out and try it. It's an experience that has to be had, especially in this Halloween season. 
I'm going to go ahead and give for taste and concept five stars. Hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time if I survive on this Halloween countdown. Bye everybody.